Imagine being ordered to pay $83.3 million in damages. This is not a fictional tale but the reality of Donald Trump as he faces the consequences of a defamation case. The federal jury has ruled in favor of E. Jean Carroll, awarding her a substantial sum for emotional harm and reputational damage, along with punitive damages. This verdict is a hefty addition to the $5 million that Carroll already won against Trump last year. But hold your horses, the saga is far from over. Trump has already signaled his intent to appeal. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The case is far from over, as Trump has already signaled his intent to appeal. The roots of this case lie in a serious accusation. E. Jean Carroll, a respected journalist, made a grave allegation against Donald Trump, claiming he had committed an act of rape. This accusation sparked a maelstrom of controversy, casting long shadows over Carroll's reputation and emotional well-being. Trump in response, vehemently denied the claims, launching into a series of statements that were later classified as defamatory. The impact of these events rippled out, affecting not just Carol and Trump but the wider public as well. In the face of such serious allegations, the court's decision has set a precedent. But what does this mean for the parties involved and the wider public? The implications of this verdict are far-reaching and potentially game-changing. The jury's decision has not only impacted Donald Trump's reputation but also opened the door to potential future legal battles. The compensatory damages awarded to Carol for emotional harm and harm to her reputation suggest a newfound understanding of the profound impact defamation can have on an individual's life. As for Donald Trump, this verdict could potentially fuel more legal challenges. With a significant sum awarded in punitive damages, the jury has sent a clear message Malicious actions in the public eye will not go unpunished. For E. Jean Carroll, the aftermath of the verdict is twofold. On one hand, the jury's decision validates her claims, offering some semblance of justice. On the other hand, dealing with the public scrutiny that comes with such a high-profile case will continue to be a challenge. More broadly, this case could set a precedent for future defamation cases. It signals a shift in how the legal system approaches such cases particularly those involving high-profile individuals. As we eagerly await the results of the appeal, one thing is clear. This case will go down in history as a landmark defamation trial. Stay tuned for more updates as the story unfolds.